Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you a new weekly love read. We are going to ask the tarot cards today who is fantasizing about you. This will be an adult only reading um, because the images contained within this tarot card are quite explicit. So with that guys, you can just determine whether you're going to stick around for the read or, you know, turn away. Um, it is totally up to you. We um, are going to do a six card spread. We're going to choose three of the sexual tarot and three of the dreamers tarot. And with all my reads, guys, if you enjoy these, just let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing today. I'm not taking reversals, guys, so just let me know. Um, okay, so where am I placing these? Yep. Um, for those of you who are interested, I'm also over on other platforms, so feel free to go and check me out or follow me over there. And if you would like to book a personal reading, all the details will be in the show more section below. Okay. So far, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Tower, and the Ace of Pentacles coming through. Okay, so I feel like the person that is fantasizing about you, Taurus. With the Four of Wands, I'm hearing the word foundation. So you may have an established relationship with this person already. You may have established some kind of foundation or commitment or relationship with this person. Okay, this person is someone who wants to protect you and look after you and ensure you know, your safety and security. Uh, this person has your back as well so if if given the chance they will support you they have your back for some of you they already have your back okay <clears throat> um i feel like that this person who is fantasizing about you is undergoing major transformation okay they're going through some changes in their life look this person may even be going through a midlife crisis I'm sensing here, okay, midlife crisis with the tower card. Mm, and we've got the ace of pentacles here. The ace of pentacles um, is a promise of some kind of offer. You know, this person may be coming toward you and offering you something here. Um, this person may invite you to go out on a romantic date with them. This person who fantasizes about you may even propose to you uh, because the Ace of Pentacles can speak to proposals or um, offers offers you commitment, offers you security. I really see here, for some of you Taurians out there, you already know who this person is that's fantasizing about you. This is going to be your partner, okay? This is going to be your committed partner. This is going to be someone that you already are possibly dating or getting to know, okay? Um We do have the hanged man here as well, directly underneath the tower. So I feel as it stands with this person that things may be on hold due to some major changes occurring around this person. Like I said, if they're going through a midlife crisis, um, this relationship or this connection may be on hold right now. This person may be holding back or just... Yeah, I'm getting like they're holding back in some way. They're hanging back or holding back in some way. Um, this person may also be watching you and observing you here. 
I do feel like you've got the Ace of Pentacles in the upright and then you've got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So we've got two Aces here. I feel like this person who's fantasizing about you lacks clarity about the connection or just about the direction of which their life is taking. Like they really just don't know at this current time from one day to the next. Okay, they're just lacking a little bit of clarity on what's happening with them and where they're going to be at the end of the month or at the end of the year. Um, it could be work. I mean, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here in the reversal. It could be due to this pentacle that this queen is holding. It could be work that's really stressing this person out. Um, maybe they're going through changes in the workforce. Maybe they're changing careers or career paths. Um, when the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, this tells me that this person who's fantasizing about you may also be lacking uh, confidence and self-esteem, okay? This person doesn't feel like they're good enough. Um, maybe they feel like they're, they're not good enough for you, okay? Now, this could also be someone, when the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, this can also be... When this person is feeling like they're not good enough, they want to come in and do extra or, or go like go over the top and just do things to please you. Now, this is a massive sign that this person just lacks confidence or lacks in self-esteem. So they do want to just do all these things for you. Um, and knowing that they're doing all these things for you provides them with some kind of security. So uh, it's interesting that this Queen of Pentacles is sitting directly under the Four of Wands, which is the card of foundations, right? This person wants to provide security and safety for you, but in turn, by doing all these things for you, they get something out of that as well. They feel safe. They feel secure. It could be an earth sign that's fantasizing about you, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Um, but I do feel for the most part, this person is undergoing major, major changes in their life. Possibly those changes could be around career. Um, and just even with which direction they're going in life, because this Ace of Swords is in the reverse. This is a lack of clarity. This is a lack of mental clarity. This is a lack of um, insight, ideas, truth. You know, they, they may, they're feeling um, like they're not aligned with their soul. Or they're not aligned with their passions. They're not aligned with their heart. Okay, but underneath it all, this person does want security. Okay. This person wants to hold you. They fantasize about holding you. Uh, protecting you and just showing you that they've got your back. So there we have it, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this read. I do hope you found this insightful. And until next time, take care.